Hey, River of Life. I'm excited to be able to interview Jessie Mack today. She just got back from West Africa, and I've got her on Zoom right now. And so we're trying to use all sorts of new technologies. By the time this virus situation is over, we'll have it perfect. And I'll have a job in New York at one of those big studios. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> Jesse, I'm so glad you're here. Yes. How are you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> good, good. How was your trip? It was incredible. Um, we took a team of seven, as you know, um, over there, and we got to experience life in the city for the entire week, which is something I've never done before. I've always been um, in the village when I went. Okay. So it was really cool to be able to just spend time in the city the whole week and get to know people that um, the team over there interacts with every day. Okay. Um, but I think the coolest part of the trip was that we got to go to a refugee camp. So oh. um, people from the northern part of the country are fleeing to the southern part of the country because the northern part is very hostile. Um, there's a lot of terrorist uh, organizations and a lot of terrorism going on. Mm. Um, so people are fleeing to, to the south part because the south part of this country is safer. Um, and these people, they live in an actual dump. Um, Oh my goodness. And um, there's about 350 families there, they mm. um, And we got to go there and um, spend time with the kids and walk around and meet some of the people. And it was, it was so heartbreaking to see. Mm. Um, but at the same time, like these people were so full of joy, mm -hmm. um, even though their circumstances were so terrible, they were so full of joy and they were so excited to see us and wanted to just spend time with us. Yeah. Um, and after we got to walk around, we got to give, um, the kids who were at school, we got to give them breakfast. Um, and so that was a really great part just to be able to see these people who are just trying to make a better life for themselves, who are just trying to get away from, the terror in the, in the North um, to be able to interact with them and to, and to just spend time with them was so great. That's wonderful. Oh my. So um, you said you had a team of seven. Was everybody well during the trip? Yeah, we had, um, we had one girl who was um, not feeling well the first night, but we think it was just from all the travel and everything. Okay. But everybody felt fine on the trip. That's great because you went to Africa and uh, some people get sick when they go to Africa. Um, yeah. From America, that is. You know, it's just, it's difficult. Um, now, tell me, um, how did the virus affect you? Yeah. Um, so, the virus is not in this part of Africa at all. Okay. Um, Praise the Lord. So, we weren't worried about getting it there. Um, but Thursday, we were, we left Friday night and Thursday morning, we woke up to texts from all of our friends and family saying that they were closing the borders, mm. um, because of the virus. And so that caused a little bit of panic. Yeah. Um, we weren't sure how or when we were going to be able to get back into the United States. Um, but it turned out that we were able to get back because we were U S citizens, mm -hmm. um, but it did cause a lot of stress because there was a few hours where um, we really had no idea what was going on. Okay. Wow. Well, you know, we were praying for you and concerned for you too. I can just, I can only imagine uh, what, what it was like to be flying at a time of, of this virus outbreak. And um, I guess it had been called a pandemic by that point too. And here you were um, serving the Lord and, probably oblivious to so much of what was going on everywhere else. Jesse, we yeah. love you, and we're so thankful that you're with us and so thankful that you're back in the States right now. We know your heart is going to send you back there because the Lord is, has put that in your heart. Um, but I can't yeah. wait to be able to see you in person again in, in a couple weeks, I hope. Uh, we'll see how, yeah. how everything goes. Uh, love you yeah. so much, and uh, God love bless you, you. Take care. Let me... Uh, okay. Exit the full screen and whoop, trying to learn how to do this. Well, hey, Jesse, also, I'm just going to pray with you real quick, okay?
Sounds good. So, Father, we thank you so much for Jesse. We thank you for her team. We thank you for the work that she did there in West Africa. And Lord, we thank you for uh, the many people who supported this work that it would go on. Lord, we also pray for our church. We pray, Lord, that you would bless our church and keep us healthy. Lord, those who are suffering right now around the world because of this virus in particular, we ask, Lord, that you would reverse it. Lord, that you would stop it. Just like Jesus had had spoken to that storm and told it to be still, we speak to this virus and say, be still in Jesus' name. Lord, bring healing and restoration to our missions director, Lord, to Greg Mundus today, Lord. We ask you to continue to do the work that you've been doing in his life. Lord, we ask you to heal Ron Maddox and others who are uh, have been exposed and others who are showing symptoms, Lord to these conditions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, God bless you. Take care. Thanks. (laughs) Bye-bye.